On today's video, we're going to talk about Strat Plus guitars and Color Mischief. I started collecting Strat Plus guitars in 1997. Long story behind that, which I'll save for another video. As my collection slowly grew, I decided to start a funky backyard website, Jeffrey's Guitars, as there was very little reliable information about these guitars back in this time. In doing so, I wanted to add a section on the website that showed and talked about every color used on the Strat Plus series. After time, I started finding some really cool colors, like this one, which was really easy to identify. It's surf green. Surf green was a vintage color used by Fender back in the 1950s and the 1960s. And by the way, almost all of these colors were automotive colors. Like surf green was a 1957 Chevy color and was called surf green, duh. <laughs> and like this color chart for the 1950s by Martin Sr showed surf green. And then there's this old Fender information chart which shows this color for a 1957 Chevy convertible. And by the way, Fender guitars were painted with automotive finishes. In the old days, lacquer, and then in the 1980s and onward, urethane. So there should be no worries about using non-abrasive automobile wax on your guitar. In fact, I use Sonex wax, which comes from Germany, and uses that nano wax technology, one of the reasons my guitars are so shiny. From 1987 to 1989, Fender released some Strat Pluses in cool vintage colors like Graffiti Yellow, Surf Green, Torino Red, Vintage White, Lake Placid Blue, Fiesta Red, and Brown Sunburst just to name a few. Then I came across this dark green Strat Plus, which was a super hard to find color. I asked the guys on the old Fender forums what color it was, and I even started a thread called Bahama Green, a reality or an urban legend. My friend Rob Schwartz, who at the time was VP of Fender's customer service, helped me with a lot of information. He worked at Fender for some 30 plus years. Sure enough, someone gave me a 1989 Fender price list, and Bahama Green was listed, color code number 17, a very dark, robust, solid green made for only about one year. That's why it's such a rare color. Let's look at this Bahama Green for a second. The color is really hard to capture on camera. In reality, it's even darker than these video clips. But what I wanted to show you was the bird's eye maple on this neck. From time to time, you find some cool anomalies on early Strat Plus guitars. Check out the bird's eye up and down the face of this fretboard. The bird's eye is all over the neck. Look at the bird's eye down here. Then take a look at the back of this neck. It's so cool looking. Weird that such a nice neck is on a production guitar. This is really a custom shop type neck. When compared to Surf Green, you can see how it's darker and a more rich green color. Here's something else that makes identifying colors even more difficult. The clear coat on these guitars can yellow due to exposure, making it even darker. Take a look at these bodies. Here's a 1988 vintage white that the clear coat has really yellowed. And look at this surf green. No wonder people get confused when they try to identify colors. Okay, now look at guitar number three in the lineup. One day years ago, I came across this color. I couldn't find out anything about it. Here is the actual guitar I bought years ago when this mystery color first showed up. Sorry for the low quality picture. This was taken in early 2004 and my camera was junk. So this is where the color mischief comes in. I couldn't find the name of this color anywhere from anyone, so <laughs> I made up a name. Yes, that's right, I started color mischief. I called it aqua blue on my website. Well, it does look kind of aqua bluish -er, right? Okay, let's forget I ever said that. <laughs> Truth is, this happens quite often. People have a guitar and they don't know what the color is called, so they just make up a name so they can sell it on eBay, Reverb, or Craigslist. I've even seen big box guitar stores make up or guess at a name on their older vintage guitars. I started to notice some of these aqua colored Strat Plus guitars occasionally popping up on the web, and guess what? People were calling them Aqua Blue because they found my website. Yes, truth is, it was fake news through and through. The more I tried to find the real name for this color, the more I was been dazed and confused. So long it's not true. I wanted a warm, 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 warm. Down the road I felt guilty. 
knowing I had not really validated the actual color, so I started to search again. I realized that Fender Strat Plus guitars from 1987 to 1989 used a lot of vintage colors, so maybe this supposed aqua blue was really a vintage color. And lo and behold, I found in the 1950s and into the 1960s, Fender had a color like this called Tao's Turquoise. This had to be it. And then there was Tao's Turquoise Ford Lincoln cars that had this same cool finish. And the 1957 Martin Sr. paint chip chart, there is a Tao's Turquoise used on Chevy cars like this 1957 Chevy Bel Air hardtop and this 1957 Chevy wagon. Man, oh man, there was even a 1957 and 1958 Corvettes in this delightful color. Then I found out Fender used this color in the 1950s and in the 1960s on Strats, and they called it Tao's Turquoise, like this 57 Custom Shop reissue. There you have it, color identification solved. I really thought that my mischief-making ways were over, as I had finally discovered the truth. But again, I had not really validated the color as being the name Fender used on the Strat Plus models so I was really still guessing. <laughs> Soon, as more pictures of these started popping up on the internet, from time to time, collectors started calling their Strat Pluses in this color, Tao's Turquoise. Oh boy, I was replacing my previous mischief-making fake news with the correct name, I thought. So I continued to perpetuate misinformation. <laughs> oh, this is one of the dangers of the World Wide Web, right? One day while I was looking at guitars on eBay, I came across this guitar. It's a 1989 heavy metal Strat, what Fender simply called the Strat. And it was listed as being a color called Ice Blue. I then opened my 1989 sales catalog and sure enough, there was an Ice Blue listed for one of the colors of the 1989 heavy metal Strats. So then I looked at the Strat Plus price list and there it was. How could I have missed it? Part of the problem is that they're so rare you hardly ever see them. And then the guys at Fender didn't even have a clue what to call this color. Turquoise just didn't seem like it would be called ice blue. But then I thought about it. Well, if you've ever hiked into a glacier and have gazed down into one of those deep crevasses, the color is very much like one of these ice blue strats. So mystery was now solved. But there is, and will be, more confusion. As you see, Fender recycles colors, like calling this color Tao's Turquoise in the 1950s and the 1960s, just to call it Ice Blue in the 1980s, and now Miami Blue, blue with the current new models. Howbeit, the colors do have slightly different hues. I don't know how many times people call a gunmetal blue Strat Plus Sherwood Green. The clear coat yellow is on the gunmetal blue, and guess what? It looks more green than blue. But often these colors are so close. One problem is using the current color chart at Fender to identify colors on older vintage guitars. Okay, let's take a look at this ice blue baby. This guitar is in near mint condition and it really does look like turquoise. I've spent time on the Navajo reservation and they sell along roadside shops beautiful turquoise jewelry. This guitar does look like that turquoise jewelry. This guitar has no cracks in the neck sockets. What a beautiful guitar. The back of the neck is smooth and silky. It has shallower locking tuners and an E4 serial number, but it's a late 1988 model according to the date on the butt end of the neck. These were made for a little over a year and a half and many of these came out as the version one Deluxe Strat Plus. Amazing the pickups are not rubbed hardly at all on this gem. It's such a beautiful color. Okay, here are the three colors side by side. Surf green, Bahama green, and ice blue. Unfortunately, since they're hard to photograph, the colors aren't really accurate on this video. A lot of confusion around these colors, which I regretfully have played a part in. <laughs> but today my website has it right, and it's really worth taking the time to check out. The false news has been removed, lol. <laughs> <laughs> if you like this video, click on the like button. I have more videos on the way.